If you enjoy this content that I'm making, could you just consider subscribing to my channel? This shows that what I do is something that you enjoy. And this helps me a lot more than you think. Welcome back. This is part two of my crash course on how echoes work. This episode is about the game HUD and icons as well as navigating in space. This is your in-game HUD. The circle in your center bottom is your ship's shield, armor and hull. This is what will turn red when you get damaged. When all three bars goes down to the bottom, you will blow up. This also tells you how fast you're moving with numbers. To left there is a cogwheel. Here you can take some beautiful screenshots. And above there you can stop your engine if you need to. The yellow big bars to the right is your battery. That is called your capacitator. This drains when you activate your modules. Always maintain this. If it reaches the bottom, you can't use your modules as guns, repair modules or more. To the bottom right you have the items that you put on your fitting. If you have more than 10 items, you will see a small tab that you can switch into another set of buttons. By holding on an item, you can drag it and place it wherever you like. You can also hold down and see the information. The eye to the right is your overview. And just over there you got a preview of the anomalies, asteroid belts and stations in this system. Click on the eye to get more information. On this screen you can click on the top to sort the overview. Here are some presets that you can use to sort what you will look at. You can change them into however you like and you do that here. Or you can use someone else's linked overview in game to spare you the hassle. In this game you will see icons in space. Green are your corporation members. Alliance members, gate guns and police are blue. And the red are pirates and hostile people. There is also purple and that is your fleet. Anomalies are also red but they have a gray square in it. So they differ a little bit. Mining belts are where you can mine for minerals to sell or build stuff with. Anomalies are areas with NPC pirates that you can kill for loot or isk. You can find all this in your overview, but they are also visible in space, unless you turn that off in settings. To move anywhere in particular, you can open the overview and click on an item. Here you can lock, approach, orbit or focus fire or even observe them. You can also by holding on orbit option choose the orbital range manually. Another thing you can do in space is manually piloting. Double click in space to make your ship move in that direction. Double click again in another direction to make your ship turn. Play around with that. This is important for in-depth PvP mechanics. If you need to stop the ship just click on the thruster icon again. It should say 100% speed. It will now go down to zero and your ship has stopped. This was part two of my guide. And if you have not caressed that red subscribe button yet, this is the time. And I'll see you in the next one.